Tony Dungy, former NFL coach, now he's a, a sports commentator. He spoke at the uh, March for Life on Friday. Let's listen to a little bit of this. Well, those prayers were answered. DeMar's recovering now. He's home. He's been released from the hospital. But what's the lesson in that? You know, an unbelievable thing happened that night, a professional football game with millions of dollars of ticket money and advertising money on the line. That game was canceled. Why? Because a life was at stake. And people wanted to see that life saved. Even people who aren't necessarily religious got together and called on God. Well, that should be encouraging to us because that's exactly why we're here today. Because every day in this country, innocent lives are at stake. And the only difference is they don't belong to a famous athlete and they're not seen on national TV. But those lives are still important to God and in God's eyes. Well, as you can imagine, Tony Dungy being a mainstream figure in sports media. Now, it's been known for a long time that he's a conservative Christian. And... Um, for the most part, he's able to get away with that, with being a conservative Christian, because that's a thing you have to get away with these days, uh, because he's talking about sports. Uh, but here he has come out and actually spoken out forcefully, and, and it's not the first time he's done it, spoken out forcefully and in public against the murder of babies. And so uh, the left, they're just done with him, sport, the sports media in particular. This comes from Fox. It says, Dave Zirin, sports editor for The Nation, said he is done with Tony Dungy and the way the NFL and NBC coddle his right-wing extremism. That's what you just heard in that clip. Extremism. Zirin says Dungy is, some, is someone venerated throughout the NFL world as a man of character, but has spent years as an anti-gay bigot. Zirin wrote, he said publicly and proudly that he would not want gay football player Michael Sam on his team. He said over a decade ago that he disagreed with the lifestyle of Jason Collins, the first out active male game player in the main four North American sports. This is a dungy staple, calling being LGBT a lifestyle, even after people have said to him repeatedly how hurtful and outdated such a description is. He simply doesn't care. And then Zirin goes on to talk about uh, how terrible he is. If Dungy wants a show on the Daily Wire, more power to him. I totally agree. I mean, I can't, I'm not in charge of these things, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we would certainly love to hire Tony Dungy if he's, if he's interested. So uh, it wasn't just Dave Zirin, it's a bunch of other people. USA Today had this article um, taking issue with Dungy's, what they call selective intolerance. The article says, what Dungy is not, and where he has far less authority with which to speak, is a woman. How do you know he's not a woman? How do you know? who must consider an abortion for any number of reasons. But that did not stop Dungy from invoking Hamlin's name himself at Friday's anti-abortion march for life in Washington, D.C. Uh, prayer, prayer may have helped Hamlin in his recovery. That we do not know. But Hamlin was also helped to a great extent by the medical professionals and the Bills employee and, uh, and those at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Bills assistant athletic trainer Denny Kellington was specifically lauded by the doctors who worked with Hamlin at UNC after he was transported there. To Dungy, it seems that the use of Hamlin's name is fair game, but only in a selective sense. Sadly, Dungy's selective intolerance has been in the news far too often in recent days. Okay. Intolerance. What, what is he intolerant of in that, in that speech there? Intolerant of killing babies, I suppose? It's just, it's, it's uh, funny when they try to do this to Tony Dungy of all people, because he's the most wholesome and beloved guy. He's like the black Mr. Rogers of the NFL. He's just that he's, everyone loves him. Anyone who's ever played for him loves him. No one has a bad word to say about him, which is very rare in any business or industry that you could be in that industry for decades and no one who's actually worked with you or for you has anything bad to say about you. Um, that's really all you need to know about someone. Like if that's the case, then that's a solid person. That's a very good person. So this is all he does. And then on top of that, he just, he comes off like this incredibly inoffensive, kind, sort of gentle person. I don't even know what it sounds like. I've seen Tony Dungy on TV for years. I don't know what it would look like or sound like for him to be angry about something. And they're trying to take him and turn him into this rabid, frothing at the mouth extremist, which is just pretty funny. That'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. 
If you're not a member, you can become a member today. Use code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. See you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.